Hi, welcome back to the figure trap. My name is Saga and today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane toys Avatar the Last Airbender Sokka and his sister Katara That's right. I'm excited to have these guys and I can't wait to get them on the table and out the package So let's do this The figure trap All right, here we go Packaging time. Let's take a look Sokka and Katara um, you can see that they're really, really well displayed in these boxes, um, or these packages, which is awesome. Got Avatar on the top, got their names right there, so you can see nothing on the bottom that we care about. Uh, side, side, look at this thing right here. See, like, I don't know if that represents the, like, Water Tribe, but in my mind it does, so that's what it's going to be. Um, yeah. I really like how they did the picture on the back. That thing looks awesome. You got a write-up right here in case you want to read stuff. Um, got another uh, picture of Aang up in the corner there. And then you got Sokka's picture on the back. And if you want to read, there you go. All right, barcodes. You guys want barcodes? All right, let me know. Does this matter? Do barcodes matter to you? Okay. Um, all right, let's move on. All right, here we got them out of package. And... Uh, as you can see, they look freaking awesome, man. First up, uh, let's look at Katara. Let's take this blue thing out. We got this translucent looking blue water effect. That thing's pretty cool. And then her face is freaking amazing, dude. Love how they did her face. Like, she looks so good. Um, yeah, her hair, her ponytail. You know, we got a texture on the top part here. We got texture on the little belt and the little uh, accents that they put all over the place, you know. Uh, yeah, texture everywhere. The only place that it gets smooth is when you get down to the legs here, which, uh, even at the bottom, they threw some texture on this, like, uh, I guess it's like a dress. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so you can see they, it's smooth everywhere underneath the dress and then texture everywhere else. Look at her mom's necklace right there. And they got her little, like, front hair thingies all perfect. Man, they did a really good job on this figure. It looks freaking amazing, man. Yeah, all right, so we got the sister down. Now let's get the brother. All right, let's take a look at Sokka. So, yeah, all right, that's the first thing we should probably take a look at is this boomerang because there's not too many accessories with these guys, but the ones they have are cool. You see, there's a, like, sharp edge, like, made onto this, like, boomerang, and then it fits back here in his little boomerang backpack really tight. That's cool. His uh, face sculpt looks really good, just like Katara. You can see his uh, little haircut with the sides shaved down and his, uh, I don't know, is that a man bun? Um, we've got texture on this little like backpack thingy. Um, we got smooth on his main part, mostly, compared to uh, Katara for sure, and then texture everywhere else. So that, that's pretty cool. we got smooth legs underneath, like Katara. And then we got texture on the boots. Yeah, you can tell that they really paid attention to detail when they were putting this figure together. He's got these little like hand uh, glove thingies, fingerless gloves, I guess. Yeah, those are pretty cool looking. I uh, got a necklace on there. Um, yeah, not so cool looking. No, I just don't like those kind of necklaces, I guess. Uh, all right. So, yeah, these guys look freaking awesome. Let's move on. All right. Articulation. Let's get into it with Katara. All right, so I can already tell that there's not going to be much tilt there. But, uh, yeah, we have no up at all. Uh, that much down, but even with it down, you get this weird hair thingy going on here. Um, got no tilt. Oh, big surprise. Um, got 360 exorcist mode in case you want to vomit green goo everywhere. Um, you have 360 at the shoulder. You have single jointed elbows, um, nothing at the hands, like no articulation at all at the hands. Um, got single joints here, same as I was saying, but uh, at the waist we get 360, so that's cool. Um, all right, let's take a look at what's going on with the legs. Um, uh, you guys really probably can't see that. I mean, there's standard McFarlane rotation on the on the leg, which is like not a thigh cut, but just that ball joint rolling thing. Um, let me see if I can get the light better so you guys can see it a little bit better. Look how hard we're trying to look up her dress to see her balls joints. I mean, yeah, 
anyway but you can kind of see right there there's like the the ball joint but uh it does have a lot of wow look at look at this side to side now that's some crazy looking splits man that's good that's actually really good um that much back that much forward um yeah that's a pretty decent amount of forward and back considering this dress um yeah and then at the knees we have single joints but yeah they look like they uh would be effective for what you might want to use them for uh then when it comes to the feet it's like the hands nothing um all right so yeah let's look at Sokka now all right Sokka's got these you know what I forgot to show you guys something um look at these at the top of the shoulder she has this joint that, that lets it pop upward too so you can get some cool like water tribe poses um yeah so that's dope all right and then Sokka of course has the same thing I mean pretty much his articulation is pretty much exactly the same as hers I mean uh, no big surprises over here but whoa look at those legs man you can get crazy splits on him too yeah that might make for some cool pictures um yeah so these guys are pretty much identical in articulation so I'm not going to go over Sokka in full but yeah let's do some size comparison all right here they are, right next to Ram Man and Naruto, Dragon Star's Naruto and Origins Ram Man. All right, now we got them next to Motu Origins Manny Faces and the Bandai Smaller Scale Brawly figure. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what do I think about these guys? Uh, I like them a lot. Let's let's start with the fact that they're ten dollars, man. That's a great deal. Look at look at what you get for ten bucks. That's crazy. Like, um, I know they're a smaller figure, and there's some limitations with the articulation and the wrist and the and the feet and stuff. But geez, look at these guys for ten dollars. Are you kidding me? They look great. They move pretty well. You get crazy splits action. I mean, they have some really good stuff. I like them. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next episode of the Figure Trap. Trap. Trap.